Donald Trump Facts 1. Early Life Donald Trump was born in Queens, New York, on June 14, 1946. His father was a successful real estate developer, and his mother was a stay-at-home mom. Trump, the fourth of five children and the second son, finished high school at a private boarding school in rural New York. He attended Fordham University in New York City for his first two years of college before transferring to the University of Pennsylvania's Wharton School of Finance and Commerce, known now as the Wharton School. Trump returned to New York City after graduation and began working for his father's real estate firm. In 1971, he became president of the Trump Organization, a conglomeration of family-owned businesses. 2. From Businessman to Politician Trump continued to work in real estate development after taking control of the Trump Organization, but he also expanded into other businesses. He owned sports teams, wrote books, and was the producer and host of The Apprentice, a reality television show. In 2005, he married his third wife, future First Lady Melania Nows. Trump previously married model Ivana Zlankova and actress Marla Maples. Trump ran for president in 2000 as a third-party candidate, meaning he ran against candidates from the two major political parties, Republicans and Democrats. He dropped out of the race early on but considered running again in 2004 and 2012. In 2015, he announced that he would run for president again, this time as a Republican nominee on a major party ticket. In 2016, he defeated 16 other candidates to become the party's official nominee. 3. The 2016 Election in the 2016 election, Trump faced Hillary Clinton, a former Secretary of State and wife of former President Bill Clinton. Many people expected Clinton to become the first female President of the United States because of Trump's lack of experience in public service and the unconventional way he ran his campaign. National elections in many countries are fairly straightforward, the candidate with the most votes wins. However, citizens of the United States take part in a more complicated, two-step process. After individual citizens across the country cast their ballots in the popular vote, it is up to a group known as the Electoral College to weigh those votes and select the president. Each state has a set number of delegates, or voters, in the Electoral College who vote for the president based on how people in their state voted. The candidate who receives the most votes in the state receives all of the state's delegates. 4. Presidential Acts Candidate Trump, like Reagan before him, declared that his lack of political experience made him better suited to represent ordinary citizens of the country. Enough voters supported him, and on January 20, 2017, he was sworn in as the 45th President of the United States. Following his election as President, Trump promised to make America great again. He began by creating more middle-class jobs, attempting to reduce the national debt, the amount of money owed by the United States to other countries and corporations, and raising funds to construct a wall along the United States-Mexico border to increase border security and prevent illegal immigrants from entering the country. He also reversed previous policies aimed at reducing pollution and climate change, claiming that they were too expensive for the U.S. government to fund. In order to create more jobs, his administration has proposed allowing drilling and mining in national parks that were previously off-limits, as well as reducing the amount of land set aside for wildlife listed under the Endangered Species Act, a law that has helped bring many North American species back from the brink of extinction. Cruelty to animals became a federal crime in late 2019 under Trump's administration. During his presidency, Trump appointed three justices to the United States' highest court, the Supreme Court, Neil Gorsuch in 2017. Brett Kavanaugh in 2018, and Amy Coney Barrett in 2020. 5. The First Indictment In 2019, evidence emerged that Trump had allegedly withheld aid to Ukraine in order to persuade them to provide damaging information on one of his political rivals. Many members of Congress were outraged by this. The House of Representatives voted on December 18, 2019, to impeach Trump, or to officially charge him with misconduct in office. The two charges, known as Articles of Impeachment, were an abuse of power and obstruction of Congress, which is defined as preventing Congress from doing its job properly. The Senate then conducted a trial to determine whether Trump should be removed from office. The Senate voted to keep the president in office after nearly three weeks. Only two other presidents in American history have been impeached, Andrew Johnson in 1868 and Bill Clinton in 1998. Neither was removed from office, as Trump was. 6. Applying for Term 2 
Trump began actively campaigning for a second term in office in the spring of 2020. He was running against Democrat Joe Biden, Barack Obama's vice president during his two terms in office. The 2020 election was unlike any other in U.S. history because it occurred in the midst of a coronavirus pandemic. Both Trump and Biden had to run their campaigns while a deadly, highly contagious disease spread across the country. Trump chose to speak at rallies attended by hundreds, if not thousands, of people. Biden, on the other hand, chose to remain socially distant and communicate with his supporters through online campaign events. Trump and First Lady Melania Trump both tested positive for coronavirus in early October 2020. They quickly recovered, and Trump resumed his re-election campaign by the middle of the month. The pandemic, as well as the high unemployment rate caused by the crisis, were major issues that both candidates had to address. Voters were also concerned about racial tensions across the country following high-profile shootings of black people by police officers, as well as health care, a hot topic during Trump's presidency. 7. Results of the 2020 election Many voters chose to vote by mail during the presidential election because they were concerned about catching and spreading COVID-19. As a result, determining the election results took longer than in previous years. However, after all of the votes were counted, Biden was declared the winner. He received approximately 81 million votes to Trump's approximately 74 million votes, garnering 51.4% of the popular vote. Biden received 306 electoral votes to Trump's 232. The winning candidate must receive 270 electoral votes in the Electoral College. The Electoral College formally elected Biden as the next President of the United States on December 14, 2020, making Trump the 10th incumbent Commander-in-Chief to serve only one term. 8. An Attempt at the Capitol Trump refused to concede to Biden in the weeks following the 2020 election, declaring that he had won despite the fact that he and his legal team could not provide any evidence to back up his claims. On January 6, 2021, during a joint session of Congress to count the electoral votes, a mob of violent protesters stormed the United States Capitol, preventing Congress from declaring Biden's victory. People who believe Trump's false claims that he had won the election comprised the mob. During the riots, five people were killed, including a police officer from the United States Capitol. Later that night, after the Capitol had been retaken by police, Congress convened to officially declare Joe Biden and Kamala Harris as president-elect and vice president-elect of the United States. Many people believe Trump encouraged his supporters to storm the Capitol through remarks he made on social media and at rallies, including one just before the attack. As a result, the U.S. government moved to impeach Trump for the second time during his presidency, accusing him of inciting insurgency. On January 13, 2021, he was officially impeached by the House of Representatives, this time with 10 Republicans joining Democrats in charging him. He is the only President of the United States who has been impeached twice. The Senate is unlikely to vote on impeachment until after Biden takes office on January 20, 2021. Trump will not be removed from office if the Senate votes to impeach him because he will no longer be President. However, the President would be ineligible to run for federal office again and would lose certain benefits that former Presidents enjoy, such as an annual travel budget and security detail. 9. Enduring Legacy Trump will remain President until President-elect Biden takes the oath of office on January 20, 2021. Trump is expected to relocate to Florida, where he will likely remain politically active pending the outcome of his impeachment trial. He has expressed a desire to run for president again in 2024. Trump's post presidential legacy is still forming. He'll be remembered for his multiple Supreme Court appointments, an economy that grew until the pandemic caused many people to lose their jobs, his controversial approach to handling the coronavirus response, his refusal to accept the results of the 2020 election, and the events surrounding the U.S. Capitol riots.